and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are. I'm going to get started by doing a little bit of work. This episode's going to be a bit of a mashup between uh, moving around between the different points and whatnot. Oh, I just realized this is going to annoy me. It's going to be slightly not the right size. I can do about the fact that it's gonna be not quite the right size. <sighs> Let's hope that I'm at least semi prepared. I'm gonna need heavy armor slope. might be slightly wondering what it exactly is that I'm doing right now. And it's actually not that spectacular of anything I'm doing, but I'm basically designing sort of a fake cockpit. And inside of this I'm placing a camera which is going to be put in upside down. This camera is going to be what lets me see outside. Now in order to see outside, another little handy thing added by the small ship parts mod, I can put in some glass. Okay, good. Now, I'm doing this double thickness because Bulletproof glass, while it's called bulletproof glass, isn't exactly bulletproof. I sure hope I can see through that. Come down here, and in go the girders and bulletproof glass. And that's probably not enough... Actually, I'm 99% sure there's not enough steel plates, but what are you going to do about it? This exact moment, I just want to weld the glass. Glass, unfortunately, takes a while to weld. I also may not have enough girders. Really, game? Really? Really? That's how you're gonna be? So... Obviously, I don't have enough girders, so I need to make more girders. Looks like I have enough of the uh, bulletproof glass, at least, though. Uh, 40 of those should be fine. I figured out how cooperative mode works. Like, I already kind of had figured out how it worked based on what somebody said. What Basically what you do is you set it up so you have one thing that functions as the primary assembler. And then you just kind of work from there. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Ow! Don't kill me bro, just trying to get my corpse out of here. Oh, this is another bug that's present. For some odd reason, bulletproof glass, it's it's sort of buggy in the same way as landing gear. It will not show up until you relog. 
I don't know why it's like that, but there's not really anything I can do about it. It's just like everything else, it's a bit... Th this update is a bit on the buggy side, but it's still playable. So at least there's that. So, yeah, okay. When you get really, really close, you can actually weld a large area all at once. Which is what I wanted in this case. Oops. So the idea is that this looks like a cockpit but I'll be using a camera to keep me safe. I'm not sure if it'll default the camera or if I use the mode switch key. I'm not sure what it will do. I'm hoping it defaults to the camera. But the camera will be behind bulletproof glass that I won't be able to preview until I save and re-enter the game, so that's a bit unfortunate. It. Will it kill me if I get in here? Is that considered too close? No. How do I enter the view of the camera? Oh, I can't because I have no power. Basically, this is supposed to be my, like, cockpit, you know, sort of thing. It's supposed to look like it's, you know, the cockpit for me to sit in, when in reality I'm sitting behind it and that's just a camera. I'm making really good use of the small ships, like, mod. I actually feel like it's something that should be in the game, because while I understand, you know, oh, we want you to make large ships. You should be able to make small ships, but, you know, obviously they'll be a bit more work intensive, nothing on them is going to be quite as strong. What? Really? Really? I'm, I can't have that. So, what I'm probably going to do next is figure out the wing. And I use the term wings lightly, because they're not really going to be wings. They're going to be more of things resembling wings that contain decoy blocks. That is their only purpose, is to, con to house the contents of decoy blocks. So, there's going to be one on each side, so I have two to make sure that I'm safe regardless. And... Just that will pretty much be the plan for that thing. As for the moment, I might need to get some thrusters on here. Uh, these might actually be good. I realize regular thrusters are really good, but these are one block. Which means I can easily put them on here for some maneuverability purposes. And I have some soup here. I'd rather not get cold, so I might actually... Let's do 40, 40, 40, what was the last thing I was going to need? Large steel tubes. Well, I don't need 40 of those, I only need 10 should be more than enough. I wish it would just consolidate everything into one spot, but let me just show you these. I'm actually going to eat my food, so I'm going to end up cutting here shortly after this. They should be... Yeah, see how they're one block? 
This makes them a bit more simpler to fit into designs. And especially in this case, I need them to be like this for the purpose of... I need to be able to maneuver the ship right now. So, this shouldn't burn anything. It's three blocks until the next one. These aren't going to be the permanent locations, but uh, I'm going to need these on here. I'm also going to need to add a gyroscope. So, that way I can actually stop the ship from doing what it's doing right now, which is more or less running away. There we go. I'm going to put two facing this way. If I'm doing this right, these should be facing the other way. Good. So I've got my left, my right, my up, and my down, and then also my forward and back thrusters. These thrusters are really weak, but considering they're in a one block space, that's to be expected. And I'm gonna need a oops, upside down miss. I'm going to need a reactor and a gyroscope. So I need to produce myself one small gyro. I'm gonna go with two actually. And a small reactor. The reason why I'm going with two is because the heavy armor blocks weigh a lot, and while I probably still have plenty enough uh ability to maneuver with just one gyroscope, I want to make sure that I have enough. I don't want to leave anything to chance. So, gyro... Uh, well, there you are. And while I'm at it, I'm going to so grab some uranium. Five should be more than enough for the moment. So I'm gonna put reactor here and the two gyros here. Obviously, the, these are all temporary, but I need to get this back down to the platform where it can't run away. So, once I put this in, it should be capable of moving ever so slightly. I'm actually fairly pleased with how well these thrusters can handle the situation. I thought these thrusters would end up being more tacked than they have been, so... I did weld the camera, right? It appears to be off. Really? I have to view the... Wait, 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 wait. Uh... G... Camera... View. I can press T to exit camera view. Hmm. Very good. This pleases me. Yeah, it's going to be slightly off-center, but that's okay. Because I think... Well, uh, the cockpit's not really off-center, but... I'm not too concerned. You know, if that's how cameras work, I might actually put one on the bottom... So that way, if I go to land on something, I can have a good, accurate representation. I usually really like... Okay, cameras are very useful. I should make use of those. In the meantime, now that this is locked down, 
I don't need everything turned on, so I can actually turn it off, and that's now locked in place, so I'll be able to work with that. Uh, not sure what I want to do with the decoys. I'll figure that out. My soup's probably getting cold, uh, and we're literally halfway through this at the moment, this episode, but I'm going to eat my soup, and then I will be back with you. Pretty then, and we are back. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually design the primary section of the ship and then add on the essentially winglets uh, wherever I, you know, whenever I feel like it's ready for them. However, uh, I need to take. These, these, keep those, these, and these. Those can all be in there for the moment. I turned off the reactor on that ship so it's not using power. Okay. So, I'm going to want some sort of, like, an engineering bay. Uh, how far back do I want this to go? So I want to be able to get up, I want to be able to walk around and whatnot. Uh, I'm probably going to make some sort of a blast door using pistons. And I'm curious as to how big these are. Oh. That might not actually be big enough to push this ship along unless I use a good number of them. Which I actually could. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. And then, what I'm probably going to do for the reverse thrusters is I'll do something like... Oh, come on. Uh, insert. I'll put them facing like this. And then there'll be probably about four blocks in front of them, and then it will go to an opening facing out the side. Uh, as far as I know, once you go like three or four blocks away from a thruster, it's no longer capable of like overheating itself. But the external, like, I'm gonna call it, be calling it the exhaust port, I'm doing that for the purpose of cosmetics in this case. Sort of like how I did this for cosmetics. As you can tell, I haven't reloaded in order to make the glass come back, because I'm likely to add more to this. I might add some, like, side viewing windows. And I'm probably going to add some more cameras to the outside. Uh, I'm not too worried about making this large. I mean, obviously, my biggest concern if I do that is going to be thrust. But I think I can work around that. So, what I'm probably going to want to do... Is... I want these to be facing like so. Do I want them protruding out the back? Do I want them potentially... Unsafe? Hmm... I mean, obviously, I don't have the large steel tubes to make them, but then... And I need to make sure I have enough room for everything else. Actually, let's look at some of the other thrusters. These take 30, compared to these taking... Wow, this must be a heck of a thruster. Whoa! 
that is definitely a thruster. And uh, for the comedic value of it, I believe this... The resource cost between the two of these is the same. This is actually not as small as I thought, it, or as big as I thought it would be, really, but... I might use two of these as my rear thrust. Uh, if I do that, though, I might need... I'm gonna add, I think, four more rows to the outside. Actually, you know what? I don't think four is going to be enough, because I just realized that I'm going to do something really dumb. Okay. So, that looks plenty long enough for this ship. Um, I'm going to put that, and that. But I actually don't want these. Because what I'm going to do is I'm now going to put these on like this. Now these cost the same amount, so I'm assuming they're just as durable as regular uh, heavy steel plates. Or heavy steel blocks, heavy armor blocks. God, it words. Apparently terrible. I ended up doing the same thing with the rear thrust that I said I was going to do, but it's going to be in a slightly farther back position, I guess is the word I'm looking for. I'm basically designing the back of the ship at this point. Uh. You know what? This wasn't in my original... One of these buttons has to do what I'm trying to do. There we go. This wasn't part of my original design intent. But... I think it'll work out well. Place them with these, I suppose. That, that, that. Military escort. Can't do anything about the military escort at the moment. So, it's just going to have to be there. Okay. That. That one's already in. That. And that one's already in. Cool. This is going to end up taking at least another episode to complete, which is fine. Uh, good things take time. My only concern is that this isn't going to be as durable as I'm hoping for, and it might not even be able to survive a missile. That is my biggest concern, it not being able to survive a missile. But if I have enough thrust on it, I should be able to avoid missiles. So... are almost functional. So then, what I'm going to do is... I wonder, can these be attached to that? No, they cannot. That's not entirely unexpected, to be honest. Uh, if I were to do this, I would only have four of these. So I do them on the top as well. 
I'm not gonna do them on the bottom, I don't think. Uh, if I'm gonna do this, I need. Oh, I'm out of steel plates. That's unfortunate. Thousand steel plates should be suitable enough. Take these for now, so let me at least get the groundwork. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll bring these forward like this, and these will be able to hold on to the rear thrusters. Or I should say the, the not rear, but technically it's the thrusters that will be doing, you know, that might actually be able to latch onto them. But meh. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is the the risk of the thruster getting hit. But then again, the idea is to have another outer plate. So, eh, we'll see how things work out with this, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna need large steel tubes. I should be able to fit, what, eight of these on here then? I said. Oh, right. Oh well. So then I will have this, this, and then I'll rotate it this way already so I can take it back to this side. to rotate it this way to put on the top and then this should be our stopping power basically probably do is that looks funny. Why does that look so weird? I can actually fit a battery in there. So I might actually do that. Oh my power's getting low. I think what I'll do is I'll put a battery in there and then I'll put it on recharge and then the thing with batteries is their output is actually pretty good. I think the small batteries, the ones for small ships, I believe their output is like 1.44 megawatts or something like that. So if I'm having issues with not having enough power, they'll also work well for that goal. Uh, I'm not sure how long one of their lifespans is, because I've never fully charged one. Okay. Uh, okay. So if I'm going to put down a battery, first I need to find it. I'm going to put it in place the gyroscope in that situation. Uh, delete. I want to be able to see the actual, like, power level on the side of it. So I need it rotated the right direction. That's, I don't really need to need to, but it's another one of those things of for cosmetic purposes, it has to be done, if that makes any sense. And this thing is going to have a ton, an absolute ton, of forward thrust. Eight plus each one of these take 
two. So I need 24 thruster components. And... Uh... 32 construction components? And... 12 large steel tubes. Okay. I got this. So, I need... One, two... Don't do that. Twenty. Then I need... Twenty... One, two, three, four. And I need twelve of these. Hide empty. 32, 24, 12. Nice. Very good. Uh, there's no way that that one small reactor I have on here is going to be enough to actually power this. Like, there's absolutely no way. There's, there's no doubt about that. There's no way at all. But that's part of the reason why the battery is going to be here. It's not entirely... It's going to take a long time to charge... And I might need multiple small reactors in order to get the most out of this whole thing. Uh, let's go over here. Battery, I want you in recharge mode, and I want the reactor, you, to be on. So this is continually drain power. Uh, the battery is, I believe, uh, not prioritized. I believe it's at a less state than the rest of the ship. And yeah, the maximum output is 1.44 megawatts. Uh, it'll take four hours to fully charge this, and this has enough fuel for two days. It's actually not that bad. Uh, the battery's life does not show up. Uh, it doesn't show up uh, on this unless you enable the battery. Which, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go into the old blocks battery, and I'm gonna toggle the recharge on and off. So, even with that short period of time, uh, I want Ship you fuel. charging. Okay. It will always use the battery before the reactors, by the way. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I am worried about the amount of power this will require. 74%. Cool, cool, okay, good, good. That's actually what I wanted to see. I do have enough power with the battery on to run these engines. And that, in itself, is very important to this situation. One, two, three... I think th this... The end of these is where I'm going to... So basically what I'll do is I'll do these... the time I wanted to work with uh, but I do still want to at least get a representation of what I have planned for this oops there might be a block there in the future but not now oops. actually there will be a block there for sure then basically that's going to come out like that, but then right here, where the thrusters are, there'll be that, so it angles out. Actually, I'm going to 
try something. Yes. Oh yes. And then I can put that there. I want to weld this up because I want to see what it looks like. I'm not going to be able to get to the other two blocks unless I can get to one of them from the inside. No, it can't. So the idea is basically this. That's an oversight I didn't think of. Crap. I don't think I want to do this here. Crap. But that's the general plan. Like, it'll come out like that. Oh, seems too big. Uh, but... We're probably at about 36 minutes, so I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.